So here's the plan. We're going to prep some of our photos in their raw state to be about the right size for video. Pictures that come out of your camera are really big most of the time. They can be upwards to three, four thousand pixels wide, so many thousands of pixels high. That's really big. And since video is a uh, process intensive uh, work on your computer, it really kills it, we need to get them down to something worthwhile. So here's what we're going to do. We're going to go under, we're going to go to Photoshop, and I've already started it and I'm going to go file new from the drop down menu oh look it's already chosen I'm going to do film and video HDTV 1080p slash 2997 the sizes go in automatically I'm going to use a white background and say OK boom two sets of lines here see those little turquoise lines the inside turquoise lines those are the title safe lines. That means any kind of text you put in there will be seen on the screen without distortion or run off the screen. Outside turquoise lines are action safe. Anything that occurs, action that occurs inside those lines will be seen and not distorted or lost. That was the quick definition. It's a lot more complicated, but we'll go with that. All right, so let's uh, do a couple things. Let's start with... Uh, I assume, since I asked you all to do 10 to 15 pictures, they're already done, but I'm going to import a couple pictures. So I'm going to start with Place Embedded, and I'm going to go find myself some pictures. Ooh, look at that. wonder what that is. That is my cat. So let's place the cat. Now, it didn't come in very big, so we need to make it fill out this entire screen, how to do that. We're going to grab this corner and stretch, but before you do that, Hold the shift and the option key so that when you drag the corner, you will uh, resize it from the center. So here we go. And I filled the screen. Now I still can move this around a little bit to get it positioned the way I want. That looks good. Hit return. Now what this did was it created a smart object. So over here in the palette, you can see the little icon that's a smart object. If I double click that, you can see my original. It opens up as a background. But that's either here or there. Okay, so I'm the right size. I like what I've got. I simply go File, Export. I'm going to Export As. And the little pop up here. This is a picture. I'm going to use a JPEG. Not making any other changes. I'm going to export. Now, where am I going to export to? Well, the first thing to do, I would say, is make sure that you have a new folder, and that folder representing now your whole slideshow project. So I'll just call mine Slides, Create. I will give this a name so I know what it is. That's my cat, Seder. I told you I was a cat lady. Seder and Export. Done. All right, now, why did I want you to do a smart object? Well, that's real simple. Because now that this is a smart object, I can go up to Layer, Smart Object, Replace Content. I'll choose a different picture. That's not it. And find a different one. There we go. Now I'll just click Place, and it will automatically replace the picture I had, fill in the spot, the space that I had, and we're done. Now I could make this smaller if I wanted, but I, I kind of like that the way it is. So I can file, export, same thing, uh, export as, JPEG, export, and into done. All right, now here, there is a problem with this. If you try to do this with a vertical, you're going to wind up with some funky looking edges. So let's go find us a vertical. Uh, go to Layer, Smart Object, Replace Contents. We're looking for that vertical, Cave Creek. Go to the bottom, Place. Now, I'm just going to say OK. 
and it's it's much it needs to be converted it's a vertical and we've only got a piece of it notice it it's still a smart object but there's no handles on it so the first thing we need to do the smart object in this case won't work so we're going to delete this layer we're just going to delete it because it's not going to work and we're going to go file place so sometimes that happens place in bed cave creek here you go place it and now it's in there but we've got these white spots what do we do well we could change the background color which is the easiest thing to do just click the oh I didn't place it return just click the unlock it with black as your top color go under you'll see there's a gradient if you click there's a paint bucket and then just and then that's sort of a dark it's a black you can see the the sides kind of disappear and it makes it a little easier to deal with the vertical file export export as and into still a JPEG still 100% export put it in the same folder oops I just call this tree all right done 